Hello and welcome back to Bicycle Legs and another edition of Favourite Albums of All Time. Today I'm going to be talking about an album that is definitely in my top 10 albums of all time and considering I own thousands of albums that's a, I know that's a big call but this one's definitely a top 10 album of all time of mine and that is The Seeds of Love by Tears for Fears, their third album from 1989. Now I love all the Tears for Fears albums. Um, I recently did a, a video uh, reviewing the latest Tears for Fears album, The Tipping Point. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to go and check that out. Um, but this is definitely my favourite Tears for Fears album and as I said, a top 10 album of all time for me. I don't use the word perfect very often. But to me, this is a perfect album. And not just because every song is great top to bottom, um, but the arrangements on this album are just spot on. The production is incredible. The running order for the songs is absolutely perfect for me. Um, there's nothing I would change about this album. And that's why it's one of my favorite albums of all time. So um, let's go through it track by track. Um, the first song is Woman in Chains. I believe that was the second single off the album. Um, it's a beautiful song. It starts off very gently. It builds and it builds and it builds. The lyric is wonderful. Um, it's a very sort of feminist lyric. It has Olita Adams on it. Um, she sings so beautifully on this song along with Roland. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Phil Collins plays the drums on this and towards the end of it, he gets very Phil Collins-y. There's a, a bit of it that's almost got that sort of uh, in the air tonight kind of vibe to it. Um, just a fabulous, fabulous song. The second song is Bad Man's Song. It's quite a lengthy song, very bluesy, very soulful song. Again, Alita Adams is beautiful on it. She plays piano on that song as well as singing. Uh, and her piano playing is incredible. Um, just a wonderful lyric again, and just, just a great song. Throughout this album, Roland's vocals are incredible. And he does sing the majority of the uh, lead vocals on this album. Um, the next song is Sowing the Seeds of Love, which was the first single. I fell in love with it the minute I heard it when it first came out. Um, definitely a Beatles homage, particularly to sort of Sgt. Pepper era Beatles. Um, Roland and Kurt share lead vocals on this song. And in fact, they co-wrote this song together. Um, it's just a fabulous, as I say, homage to that sort of 1967 Beatles sound. Um, Ian Stanley, um, who was the keyboard player on their first two albums, appears on this track. Um, as does Chris Hughes on drums. He was the producer or co-producer of their first two albums. Um, wonderful single, great song. Then you have Advice for the Young at Heart, which is probably the most straightforward song on the album. It's a wonderful, wonderful pop song. Kurt sings lead vocal on it and he sings it absolutely beautifully. Uh, Advice for the Young at Heart, soon we will be over, when we're going to make it work. Gorgeous, gorgeous song. Um, then you get to side two, and if anything, for me, side two is better than side one, which is saying something, because side one's incredible. Um, you have Standing on the Corner of the Third World, which is um, a lot of the songs on side two have got a real sort of a psychedelic feel to them. They're wonderfully arranged. Um, lots of little instrumental parts that are coming in and out. Um, and Standing on the Corner of the Third World has that. It's um, just a wonderful, wonderful song. 
Then you get Swords and Knives, which has a little bit of the same sort of vibe, if not the same instrumentation as Woman in Change, where it sort of starts off quite sort of quiet, and then it builds up, but then it builds back down again. Um, great song. Um, when life begins with needles and pins, it ends with swords and knives. The lyrics on this album are just incredible. Um, Year of the Knife uh, is the next song, and Swords and Knives kind of segues into Year of the Knife. Year of the Knife's a, a real up-tempo song, great song. Um, just really good and up-tempo and, and energetic song. Really, really love that song. And then you get the album Closer, Famous Last Words, which might be my favourite song on the whole album. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Um, and the lyrics, again, are just absolutely spine-tingling for me. Musically and lyrically, this song is absolutely spine-tingling. Uh, when the day turns to night, we will sit by candlelight, we will laugh, we will sing when the saints go marching in and we will carry war no more. It's just, ah, oh, just gets to me every single time I hear it. And I've heard this album so many times. I, I play it several times every year. Uh, in fact, I might even go and have a, a listen to it again later today because it's just such a good album. Everything about it, the, the album cover art is just fabulous, just wonderful, with Roland and Kurt on the front cover there. I love that album cover art too. It's just everything about this album is wonderful. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this album, whether it's your favourite Tears for Fears album or whether in fact there's another uh, Tears for Fears album you like better. Um, I will definitely be doing a studio albums ranked on Tears for Fears at some stage uh, because I think their whole catalogue is worth talking about. Uh, as I said, I will leave a, a um, link in the description for my review of The Tipping Point, their latest album, if you'd like to go and have a look at that. Um, if you're new to the channel, please go and have a look at some of my other videos. I have lots of uh, studio albums ranked shows. I have a number of these favorite albums shows. Um, I have my in defense of shows where I take albums that the critics and most of the fans really hate and sort of reevaluate those albums and say that they might be worth actually having a listen to. Uh, and I have a few reviews on the channel as well. And I have my anniversary album shows. They're always fun. Uh, I love doing those shows. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Bicycle Legs on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, I'm mostly uh, posting the albums that I happen to be listening to at the time. On Twitter, I talk about anything and everything, although I am trying to give that more of a music focus. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.